Welcome to Rage X Mods, the channel that's dedicated to bringing you step-by-step -step tutorials and ROM reviews for your Droid X. Today I'm going to be showing you how to SBF your phone to stock gingerbread version 4.5.602. This will put your phone in the exact state it was in when you pulled it out of the box. Here's a couple of reasons why you'd want to do this. Let's say that your speaker is blown or that your earphone port is busted. You definitely don't want to bring it in for repairs while it's rooted or running a custom ROM. Another reason would be if you're having problems while modding your phone and you can't get back in a clockwork recovery to restore a backup that you've made. This SBF process is sometimes the only way to get your phone back to a working state to continue with your modding. Now we'll get started with the SBF process. You'll need to visit the link in the description. Click on the download file link. Proceed to download it and choose a place to save it. Once the file is done downloading, navigate to where you saved it. Right click on the zip file and extract here. Now go back to the site and click on the link for RSD Lite 5.44. Start the download and choose a place to save it. Navigate to the zip file and right click on it. Choose extract here. Double click on the installer for RSD Lite. Click Next, Agree to the Terms, and Next again two more times. It'll take about one minute to install. If you don't already have the Motorola drivers installed on your PC, visit the link in the description and get those installed before you continue. Now open up RSD Lite. Take your phone and make sure it's powered off. Now hold down the camera button and the volume down button. Now hold down the power button as well. When the screen flickers, let off of it. You'll see a black screen with white writing. Make sure the bootloader version is 30.04. If it's not, please do some research to get it there before continuing. Also, please make sure your battery is at least 80% before going any further. Now plug in your USB cable. You can see that RSD Lite shows we're connected. Now we need to click on the tab with the three dots. Navigate to the SBF file and double click it. Now press the start button. This process should take about 13 or 14 minutes. Do not unplug your phone for any reason while it's flashing. When the program says finished, you should now have Gingerbread 4.5.602 loaded to your phone. If it says please manually power up this phone instead, this is what you'll do. Unplug the phone, pull the battery, Put the battery back in, hold down the camera button and the volume down button. Now hold down the power button as well. When the screen flickers, let off. Now plug the phone back into the USB cord. The program will now say finished, so you can now unplug the phone and close the program. Now we need to do a factory reset. Power the phone down. Hold down the home button, then hold down the power button. When you see the Motorola logo, let off of the power button, but continue to hold the home button. When you see the Android with the triangle, let off of the home button. Press the volume up and down buttons at the same time. Use the volume keys to scroll up and down and the power button to select. Scroll to wipe data factory reset. Press power. Scroll to yes. Press power again. When it's done, make sure you're on reboot system now and hit the power button. When the phone reboots, you'll now be on the setup screen. Touch the Android to get started. The screen will say a call needs to be activated. Hit activate. When the voice prompt tells you, hit the number one. When it's done, hit next. Now you'll be prompted to sign into your Google account to set up the rest of your phone. If you want to restore your apps from the market, make sure you have the options checked off on the backup and restore screen during the setup. You can use backup assistant to restore your contacts if you like, or you can just hit skip if your contacts are backed up to your Google account. Google should automatically restore them shortly after your setup is complete. If this video helped you, make sure you subscribe so you can check out more step-by-step -step tutorials and ROM reviews.